Hey guys, actually, I am on my way to meet up with Journey with Jay. Um, we're gonna collab on a uh, cemetery that he found in the middle of the woods. Sounds like an epic explore. Really excited about this. Uh, but first, I'm gonna get something to eat uh, for breakfast. I'm not the type to eat first thing in the morning. So we're gonna grab some breakfast and then eat the rest of the way up and then meet up with him. See you in a bit. Hey, it's Kathy and uh, I'm here with Journey. and get him in the frame. Hey. There he is. And he brought me to this cemetery that... Wow. It's not exactly abandoned, but it's very old. Let's see if we can see. That looks like Catherine. Uh, died September 27th, it looks like. 1829. 1829. Wow, you can barely read them. This looks like, I can't see the month, uh, possibly March of 1820. Ah, uh, that looks like a sinkhole there. Or did they just level it out? Ah, uh, they just leveled it out. Yeah. Looked like a sinkhole from my perspective. Up here is like, there's like that 1800, uh, like, um, I don't know if it was like an old, uh, uh, ma mausoleum or something, but it's like in the ground. It's like interesting. It's, it's really cool. There's like letters on the yeah. Oh yeah. All right, now that the wind has stopped, <laughs> check this out. Wow, I should have bought my light. 1889. 1889. And look at how they, they laid the stones yeah. up above there. Oh, look at that architecture. There's a pole that's going through the middle here. I'm unsure why the pole is going through the middle. Yeah, I think that it was uh, like a support thing. I think they might have put it in here later to kind of support it from collapsing and hold the walls up. Yeah, that would make sense actually. And cement over the stone. Yeah, so I'm not sure exactly what this was. It almost looks like a spring house, but they don't typically date spring houses. Like and there's like, there would have been a big gate right here. See the hinges? Ah, oh, yeah. Okay. And then I guess it would have locked up right here. So maybe somebody was in here and they decided to move them. Yeah. Yeah, since it's all clearly all coming apart. Yeah, it is. Mother Sarah Bullich 
1868-1902, mother, Sarah Keller, 1830-1902. That's redone. 1897, that is definitely redone. Granite. That could either be 1910 or 1919. Oh yeah, that could be 1919. Yeah, this one worn of its worn of its wordings. No, actually, I could see it a little. Oh yeah, there is a little bit of writing on there. I didn't even notice. That looks like 1835 or 1836. Yeah. Right there. And then I should have bought some water. That's too worn. So there's a couple more tombstones up here. I'm going to check out real quick. I wonder how well kept this all is during the summertime, you know, like... Not very. It's usually all overgrown. Ah. Uh, this one's knocked over. Uh, Mary, his wife died October 22nd, 1914. That one's all worn. Yep, nothing. Yeah, this looks like newer headstones. I'll see what we got. Barbara Elizabeth, beloved wife of Frederick J. Smith, born September it looks like 1836 or 1838 died January 1892 yeah these are early 1900s here that one's 1948 Never quite seen one like this before. Sleep in your pieces. I don't see any other writing. I did. It's 
quite odd. That is cool. These are all early 1900s here. David Miles, born July 1853, died July of 1930. Charles Albert. Paul died 1904. He's 45 years old. On a hillside here. I can't imagine what it was like to try to bury somebody back then on the side of a mountain. George Sell, 1858 to 1918, and Caroline, his wife. Yeah, so it appears the squares that you see are family plots. These are all Fishers here: David, Josephine, and Annie Fisher. Okay, for this one, you can see that they cut into the hillside here. Let me see if I can change perspective. And they leveled it out. But look at this. So we have this huge one here. Burkert. Marianne. Eighteen forty seven died, eighteen eighty six. Marianne. Marianna, sorry, that's Marianna, uh, wife of Elias. And look at this. So that's Mayana. That's Elias. This one actually looks like a headstone, but it's not. It's stairs leading to another family plot. That one's old too, huh? Schumann. I'm making, making out what it said. Jacob L. Schumann died 
1888 it looks like died I can't tell Wow. Looks like a really old one over here. Yep. Yeah. Watharl Dryden died eighteen sixty six. He's thirty eight years old. I can't make out what it says down there. This headstone is propped up against the tree here. I can't make out the wording. It looks like Catherine up there, and the word died, and I can't make out the year. Jay doing his stuff. <clears throat> These are father, mother, we have Maria right here who passed away in March of 1862 and we have Wilson right here who passed away in June of 1881. And this one's interesting because it looks like it has a big granite ball on the top. It's polished. This was George Helfrich. He passed away in 1903, along with Margaret and Clara. All right, guys, so that's going to cover it for this explorer of the cemetery in the woods here. That's basically on the side of a mountain. So please like, share, and subscribe. And if you don't have the notification bell, please click that notification bell. This way you are notified whenever I upload a new video to YouTube and there's the wind. <laughs> I did get a new mic, but it's not working with this camera for some reason. I, I did test it out, but we'll get it, we'll get it figured out. Anyway. So please also visit Journey with Jay's channel and give his channel a, a like or let me do that again. <laughs> All right. And also, please, there goes the gimbal. All right. And also, please, <laughs> I can't get it. <laughs> All right. And also, please visit Journey with Jay's YouTube channel and subscribe to it. And I'll see y'all later. Thanks again. Bye.